off of a little sterno or alcohol warmer at a restaurant buffet where you can't see the flame in there, but it's definitely there. Which is one of the dangers of alcohol flames is you can't see it. It's actually burning. So once, the, once that uh, flame has gone out and started the dust pile smoldering, there'll just be a little burning ember um, in the dust pile. We'll let it grow large enough to put it smoking. Right there. And by habit, I keep the tip of my drill out of all this microclimate and grass. Human beings aren't very good at sensing absolute temperature or absolute humidity. You go put your hand in a pan of warm water and put it in a pan of cooler water, and you will think that the cooler water is colder than it really is, and vice versa. Likewise, your feet, even your feet in the grass here, are very poor. A uh, 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 sensor, if you will, of how much moisture is really in the ground. So, um, my hole is a bit ways in, so I'm just gonna trim that edge. In. Also, I'm not up in the air like this. If anything slips, I've got a lot of energy in my arm that's gonna make that knife, uh, knife blade fly. I want to know that if that blade goes anywhere because something breaks or cracks, it's going into the dirt not into me or somebody else in the box. Crucial to this is that my wrist is locked into my shin. If I don't lock into my shin, and this is the piece, this is the one point that everybody, or nearly everybody, forgets when they go home and come back a year later and say, I did everything you said, and it, it just, the drill kept popping out, and they go, show me. And they go, well, just like you're doing. And I go, no, show me, and they go, just like this. And this means you've got a hinge point and a hinge and another hinge and another hinge that you're going to try to control from up your shoulder. It's almost impossible to do that. It requires a huge amount of muscles and, and, and exertion that isn't necessary. And you only need to let off the pressure on that drill for a brief moment. And it's imperceptible to most people uh, in, in such a way that on that forward or reverse stroke, there's not enough pressure to keep it in. And the drill pops out. If you lock up like this you against your shin, your wrist can't move up your uh, shin very easy, and you take all the hinge, uh, the individual hinge pieces out. Other than there's a little bit of hinge here, but not much. Um, this isn't going to be able to move much at all. Long, steady stroke. This can all be scaled down too. One of the, my most popular. YouTube videos I have is of Dick Baugh doing this with just about a three inch little stick and some dental floss. <laughs> so we're just trying to make dust right now. You want to think marathon run instead of sprinting. We're probably there. I can tell by the way it's smoking. We definitely got an ember, but now the tactic is I can still add fuel. I'm doing. There. Now, Usually, I, if there's any question about it, I'll stop and count to 10. At this point, I can keep all the heat in there between the bottom of the drill and the inside of the board. If that quits smoking after I count to 10, it means that the smoke that I let come out counting to 10 with my smoke, which doesn't tell me anything, I want to know it's smoking on its own. If you get a slight breeze, you can see. Some of you will be able to see here. Now the beauty of this approach too with bow drills, you can make a lot of fuel. So you can even make a big enough ember, you can just split it in half and have a backup in case it's windy or damp materials or rainy. You've got all kinds of things that might be working against you. You can have a backup plan. So now, I'm just going to grab some grass from around here. And help this out a little bit with some moss here. Cattails or thistles are also a really nice uh, uh, fire extender, I should say coal extender. And uh, somewhere one of my dogs might have some. Um, but this moss will dry by itself will flame up just fine. Cattail flower heads will smolder pretty good, but uh, they won't flame per se. So this is just some old. Uh, Cattail fluff from last year. Could you use raw wool? What's that? Could you use raw wool? 
<laughs> oh, wool, definitely not. not uh, basically, anything off of an animal is just going to stink up like burnt hair. It won't flame. Even though, yes, Michael Jackson caught his hair on fire, but I think that was because of all the goo in his hair or something. It wasn't his hair that was burning, it was everything on it. Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's a good question, but uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how bad stuff from animals smells. It doesn't flame. See the ember growing. Okay, do this again for anybody who got here late. down in where it's smoking, but a lot of times you can't see it. And so, um, especially the first beginning uh, ember, a lot of times you'll never, it's rare that you'll never see any of it. So also you guys have bow drill. Yeah. 